Well, how y'all doing today? This is going to be a video of my NASA space-related collectibles. And this ranges all the way from things, patches from the Mercury missions, all the way up to space shuttle buttons, and some books, and some other stuff that I've gotten a hold of. All, all of this comes from garage sales. All of it. So we'll start... First of all, this chart right here is a prototype Skylab mission plotting chart. I got it at a garage sale. And uh, the guy's retired dad had worked as a geologist for, yes, geologist, for NASA. And so who knows how he got a hold of this. And um, I don't even know if it was commercially available, but... You know, it had been in a garage, so it had a little bit of dirt and some, some stains on it. But now it lives in a very safe place. So, And then right in the middle there is one of the bronze medallions you could buy at Spaceport USA for the space shuttle launches. And this one was for STS-35 Columbia. And yes, that is the space shuttle that blew up in 2003. Uh, and debris landed all over East Texas, and my family have a lake house in the south end of Toledo Bend, and they were up at the lake house that morning when it blew up, and uh, they heard sonic booms and multiple <laughs> sonic booms because there was debris spread over miles, and large chunks went into Toledo Bend Reservoir and landed on people's property, and people found very identifiable space suits and, and helmets and human de human remains so very sad but yeah, they called me and they're like oh hey we, we heard saw we heard all these loud noises oh yeah space shuttle blew up so uh sad but um there there it is what it is so and then at the at a garage sale a guy had retired from nasa and he got these plaques and they have all of the buttons from sts 31 all the way to STS-91. And then down here at a garage sale, and this used to be framed, and I took it out of the frame because the frame was falling apart. This guy, as a kid, had collected all of the mission patches from NASA. He says he got it actually mail order from NASA when he was a kid and collected these. And I knew they were widely av available. And he had kind of very sloppy and how they're placed on this so and now i just keep this rolled up as is i don't i may frame it eventually it'd be kind of expensive and i would do it right and have it done professionally so and i'll show you guys in some later videos of some things i actually spent a little bit of money on to preserve so um there's plenty of these out there so the history is not at risk um anyway but this has everything from the mercury missions to Apollo 11's mission and had, goes all the way up to some Skylab missions. So, um, kind of neato torpedo paid 10 bucks for that whole collection. He was done with it and he was like, yeah, I did it as a kid. I'm done with it. Here you go. I ain't even topping down. I'm, I handed him a $10 bill. I, that's not me. I used to have to talk people down, you know, but if it's something really cool and it's a really good price, you know what? Once in a while, I've shocked people. They're like, oh my God, you just handed him the money. Yeah, yeah, I did. And once we get in the car, I'll tell you what we got. So, uh, and then up here, this is just, this is a book from, oh, I think this one's from the, oh, I wrote it down, but from 84. And this is just a really neat book on NASA from 84. That is a freebie from Lockheed Martin. And you, if you work for the contractor, you knew someone, you could get a Lockheed Martin freebie. And I... I was just using it as a pad, and I was like, you know, i got some others. Maybe I should use those and kind of just preserve that one. So I kind of did. And this is probably one of the coolest things that I have found. This is a book from Life Books from 1964, and this is all about Project Mercury. And I am telling you, it is in, other than a little bit of wear on the outside, the pages are crisp. They are just about perfect. No kid has torn these up. 
and this is all of the this is on the project mercury when we first went into space so it is neato torpedo cool and i'm telling you these pages are crisp they are nice so this is probably one of my favorite things that i found and i bought that other garage sale of course and i don't think it was at the same garage sale as that stuff but um that book i keep in a little safer i don't let the dust collect on that so kind of neato torpedo so there is my video on nasa space collectibles and i hope y'all enjoyed that um you know i i just do a lot of garage selling and i look for if something's neat i'll pick it up and you know i i might sell it i might keep it i might use it as decoration keep it or or give it away who knows but i'll get a hold of it and then i'll make a decision from there so there's my video on my space stuff and i hope y'all enjoyed that and i'm gonna sign off for now y'all have a nice evening talk to you later bye now